I always felt like I knew Cuba, like I grew up with it uh, at our restaurants, in our home, within our culture. But going there was a completely new experience and it was an experience that I was not prepared for. My parents were born in Cuba. Uh, they emigrated to this country in the 60s and they brought with them you know, the stories of their lifetime. I couldn't go to Cuba without asking my father first. It's, it's been a very, it's, it had been a very difficult subject, a very understood topic that you don't return to Cuba until everyone can enjoy the freedom uh, that we in this country are allowed. So when my newspaper posed to me my assignment, uh, I had to get his approval. If not as a grown man, you know, needing the approval of his, as a boy needing the approval of his father, but more, I needed the approval of someone who, who had been injured by a system and I needed his approval to say, yes, go tell that story. Go back and tell that story. When I set out to find a title for the book, uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a wrestling match. I didn't come to it until actually my book editor read the version for the first time, called me immediately and said, I have the title for your book. It's Take Me With You. It's the words that my father told me when I went to ask his permission to go to Cuba, fully expecting him to be outraged and when he softened and said, take me with you. Although I couldn't take him with me, that was my permission. And that was my permission to, in, in an emotional sense, in, in an esoteric sense, take him with me. The greatest part about visiting Cuba was getting to meet the family that I had only known in black and white photos and in crackly telephone conversations uh, over the years. What I found though is these people that I had known only as boys and children were now grandfathers. And yet, even though they had never met me, they embraced me as if they'd seen me the day before. And the day that I left, uh, it hurt them as if I was leaving for the first time, um, you know, years ago. So it was both the greatest and the bitterest moment, you know, seeing them and leaving them.